Thank you. Dr. Oersley will definitely be in the presence of tonight. Uh, there's a number of people, lucky people, who are going to be uh, able to meet and greet Alice. There's also going to be a winner's name drawn out of the skull over here to get up on stage at the finale when Alice performs at the Enmore uh, Theatre on Monday night, which is a hoot. And that's uh, thanks to Sydney's 95.3. But I uh, just wanted to let you know that Alice is a phenomenon, there's no doubt about it. He is a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. He was given the Gold and God Award in uh, Los Angeles just recently. He's been doing it for 40 years and he's been doing it better than most. He's the originator of theatrical shock rock. He's not the innovator. He is the innovator, he's not the imitator, and there's many others that have imitated him. And um, the fact is that he used to have actually the outdoor concert record in Australia. He pulled 40 odd thousand people at the Sydney showgrounds when uh, he came out here in 1977. He's been a big fan of Australia, he's kept coming back over the years, he provided all musical trends to still be ahead of the game. And his brand new record that we're here to celebrate tonight, welcome to my nightmare, is without a doubt his finest work. Would you welcome on stage none other than Alice Cooper? You're worthy. You're worthy. <laughs> just before we uh, do the meet and greet, I just want to talk to you about the new album because you should be congratulated, man. It's absolutely brilliant. Thank you. I just wanted to find out why it took 35 years to do the sequel. <laughs> Bob Ezra and I hadn't worked together in quite a long time. And when we did get together, I said, what, we have to do something more than just an album. We have to really do something that's going to be a landmark thing. And he says, well, it's been 35 years since The Last Nightmare. I said, well, it's time for a new nightmare then. We gotta, we gotta put together a brand new nightmare for Alice. And we started writing and couldn't stop writing. So it was, uh, it's a brand, even though we did bring some pieces in from the original to tie it together, it's a brand new one. And I, I used some of the guys from the old band, from the original band on this too. Yeah, because well, that must have been interesting because just before, well, during the time, you also were being inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. What was it like getting back with the original band members, all, all but one? Yeah, uh, well, Glenn passed away, so Steve Hunter sat in for him, and Steve is actually in my band now uh, that's playing. And so is Oriante, by the way. She's my new guitar player. How's he doing? Uh, she can play. This girl can play as good as anybody I've ever heard. And uh, so, you know, it was like uh, I hadn't worked with the guys, the original guys, in a long time. And uh, we got together and did like five or six songs in rehearsal, and they sounded exactly the same. They hadn't changed a bit. You know, so it was really easy to do that. 